Well, the swim, it's uh, for the Huntsville Hospital Foundation, and it's primarily to raise money, awareness for um, heart diagnostic equipment, cardiac diagnostic equipment. Mm -hmm. The um, Three years ago, I had a major episode while I was swimming in the lake and was in uh, Newmarket Hospital 17 days, had major heart surgery, was determined to come back, and I'm finally back at a level where I need a good challenge and it's also a lot of the swim is to do with thanking the frontline staff. I had so much help along the way through uh, recovery, cardiac rehab, surgery, the um, it's unbelievable what the frontline staff have done for me and do for everybody else. So it's, it's also a sense, it's um, one of the key objectives is to thank those frontline people that have helped me. And the fact that um, I'm at this stage where I'm going to be doing the longest swim of my life after heart surgery is uh, really um, a big thing and testament to what what the uh, hospital's done. And um, it's just sort of it's a it's a celebration. It's um, awareness that yes, you can have life after major surgery. You can uh, produce these really aggressive goals and go after things and just really love life again. And that's uh, essentially what it's about. This year it's Big Win Island. It's on Lake of Bays, the biggest lake in, on Lake of Bays. The circumference is about nine kilometers. Um, at this juncture, I'm, I'll be leaving from the main golf course. At this juncture, I don't know if I'm going counterclockwise or clockwise. It's going to depend on the day of and the winds. There's a lot of currents on the island. And depending on wind direction, that'll dictate my uh, how I circumnavigate the, uh, the whole island. You can donate to Glenn's swim by going to Huntsville Hospital Foundation's website and searching for his name, Glenn Vickery.